Famous Venus de Milo, symbol of the beauty of women. Legend tells us that in a quarrel of beauty among the goddesses, Venus was chosen the loveliest of all. But discord ruled that contest. Each of the rivals bribed the judge, and the outcome was not peace, but war. Venus remains the symbol of beauty, but standards of taste have certainly changed, and so have beauty contests. Here is a modern Venus, Miriam Stevenson, Miss Universe of 1955 winner of an international contest that brings the world together in the name of beauty and the cause of peace. Here is the creed, the pledge of each girl, wherein she solemnly dedicates herself to the highest ideals of friendship and goodwill among all the people of the universe. Now, once again, from countries all over the world, Europe, South America, the Middle East, and the Orient, 75 of the loveliest girls in all the world, each one a beauty contest winner in her own country, are arriving in the city of Long Beach, near Hollywood, beauty capital of the world. This lineup of loveliness comes from the 48 states of the USA. One of them will be chosen in separate competition to be Miss United States of America. Here is the competition from 32 other countries for the title of Miss Universe of 1956. They're a captivating sight, dressed in the costumes of their native land. Here they are all together, 75 friendly rivals in the greatest beauty competition in the modern world. From now on, the eyes of the world will follow them through the eventful week that lies ahead, for beauty is news in every language. In the midst of the days crowded with glamour and fame, the girls take time to relax, to play together and become friends. Lasting friendships bloom in this field of rivalry. Here they are, arriving at a motion picture studio, where they add their own note of vivid beauty. They discover, and are discovered by, movie star George Nader, with whom they may soon appear on the screen. The lucky one, that is, who wins the Miss Universe title. And now, with a colorful parade down the main thoroughfare of Long Beach, California, the pageant of beauty gets underway. Flags of the many nations lead off in tribute to the spirit of international friendship and peace. Thousands of spectators line the street to see the parade of beautiful girls, visions of loveliness passing by. The crowd picks its favorites, as many favorites as there are girls. Here is beauty in infinite variety and charm and fascination. Each girl is a queen of beauty in her own country. But who is the most beautiful of all? The experts must decide, the official judges, and they'll need the wisdom of Solomon. In this parade are presented not only the beauty queens from foreign lands, but also the contest winners from the 48 United States of America. For the judges must first select a Miss United States of America to compete with the 32 international rivals for the top honor of Miss Universe of 1956, the most beautiful girl in the world. Let's jump now to the big night of the Miss Universe beauty pageant and see what the judges decide. In the Miss USA contest, the runners-up are Georgia, California, Nebraska, and Arkansas. And the winner, Miss United States of America, is Carlene King Johnson of the state of Vermont. <laughs> And so Miss Vermont is Miss USA and carries the colors of her country into the international competition for the top honors, Miss Universe. Who will it be? This is a great pleasure for me. Estar aqui nos Estados Unidos é uma maravilha. Les États-Unis sont trop beaux. Je retourne en France, mais je reviendrai. Estoy muy contenta de encontrarme aquí. Après trois semaines, je retournerai chez moi. 
e sono molto felice di trovarmi negli Stati Uniti d'America. I represent England in the Miss Universe pageant. It's been a wonderful experience. I'm representing Canada. I live in Toronto. I had many friends in the United States, but now I have friends from all over the world. I'm Ilana Kamel and happy for the opportunity to be here. Ang Miss Universe pageant ay isang mabuti na paraan sa pagkakaibigan sa buong mundo. Ketoram, yasas kiharasas. I'm Carlene King Johnson, Miss United States of America. All the American girls here are wonderful. I am proud of this honor. And now, while Miriam Stevenson, Miss Universe of 1955, presides, the semifinalists parade before the judges. Each girl meets the highest standards by which beauty is judged. Charm and loveliness, symmetry, feminine grace and poise. The selection of a queen of beauty is not by any means new. What is new is that today, such competition brings the world together in friendly rivalry and goodwill. In the spirit of the Miss Universe creed, we pay tribute to these lovely delegates from all nations and select one who shall be honored as Miss Universe, queen of beauty the world over. Each of these girls is worthy of that title. Each is a queen of beauty in her own country. Who will become Miss Universe? And now, our judges have five finalists from our 15 semifinalists. Alphabetically, not in final order, however, here they are. First, Maureen Hingert, Miss Salon. East is east and west is west. Never shall the twin meet, but here we are. Mamabomasa and Metaminda. Here's Maribel Arrieta, voted Miss Friendship by the contestants. My name is Maribel Arrieta, Miss El Salvador. I'm very happy to be here with you in the United States, but I'm also happy I'm going home. San Salvador, allá voy. Next alphabetically, Margit Nunca, Miss Germany. I am Miss Germany. My name is Margit Nunca. Alle Mädchen von der ganzen Welt, die hierher gekommen sind, sind wunderbar. And here, Keiko Takahashi, Miss Japan. And last of our five finalists alphabetically, Hilary V. Rombin, Miss Sweden. Backstage, the five girls are waiting, each one eager, filled with hope. The suspense is mounting, and at last, the judges have reached a decision. May I have it? Thank you. Here it is. Fourth runner-up to Miss Universe, Keiko Takahashi, Miss Japan. Congratulations. Third runner-up, Margit Nunca, Miss Germany. Two click. Now, second runner-up, Maureen Hingert, Miss Ceylon. Good luck. And first runner-up, Maribel Arrieta, Miss El Salvador. Bueno. And here she is, the winner, Yelivi Rombin, Miss Sweden, Miss Universe of 1956. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. This is the happiest moment in my life. It is an honor and privilege to be chosen Miss Universe of 1956. And so to Hilary Rombin, a 21-year-old university student from Sweden, goes the crown, the scepter, and the robe that mark her queen of beauty the world over. With the title go the rewards, most exciting of which is a motion picture contract at Universal International Studios. Look again at the queen of them all, Miss Universe, 
the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs>